today the greatest tragedies man holds on to himself he keeps up his problem continues to speak about his problem rather than speaking to god his problem he always troubles oneself with a problem what he has then surrendering one's problems to the lord and receiving the courage and the strength and the faith which the holy spirit gives to us we hold on to our problem if we keep the snake with us the fear will continue to be with us we may have shown the snake but unless we throw it away it doesn't we don't become peaceful that is the tragedy today we continue to keep our problems we continue to speak about our problems in prayer and we continue to trouble ourselves and we think it goes on goes on no the bible says place all your worries and believe that your god has heard your prayer and move with the faith take the promise of the lord and move on in life and that's what barnabas and paul they did they heard the saints are saying go ahead this is what the holy spirit is telling and he is with you they do not know how their journey is going to be they know everywhere jews are against them how they will accept the gospel of jesus if they want to think of problem plenty are there but they never fixed their minds on the problem they fixed on their mind on the prophecy god is sending you go god is moving with you move that's all when they moved they straight away entered into the synagogue they gave the word of god they said now from today's reading first reading we read from 13 to 25 in the chapter 13 of acts they moved from there to uh, paul and his company they set sail from paphos and came to belga in pamphylia another region and as they were leaving a discouraging element happens what is that a man who was with them for help john mark he says no no i am have to go to jerusalem some people are like that when we are doing the ministry certain reasons we feel like going away here and there so paul and barnabas should get discouraged john says i am going to home but the word of god says john though he left paul and barnabas they kept up the promise of the lord they kept up the lord ahead of them it is the lord who sends us and they moved with that with the lord and his promises you go and now this time i do not know why maybe the discouragement that their companion left has become strong they did not straight away go and the word of god to synagogue to preach now they went to the synagogue and they sat down now the holy spirit begins to operate the synagogue leader he sees paul and barnabas new faces and saying brother and come 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 because their dress and all looks they are jews so come on come on do you like to give any new word of encouragement for our people when we move with the god god will make opportunities and we for us now paul got up and proclaimed how our god is a faithful god how he was faithful to abraham and how he saw the people in the they are suffering in slavery in egypt how he raised up moses and how 40 years he was faithful to them feeding them in the desert giving them the water and seven nations came against them these people ordinary people they do not know how to battle but 
they received the power from the Holy Spirit, the battle belonged to the Lord. They experienced. And how that group of people were led by the king like Saul, then for a wonderful person called David, then God promised, this will not go on. God will put an end. How? God will raise up someone in that family of David and he will be the Lord and his life will bring salvation and deliverance to everybody. He will be our king. He will be our prophet. He will be our savior. He will be our everything. And that is fulfilled in the person of Jesus Christ. When St. Paul shared, when somebody calls to give meal, they will not simply chase us away. So the synagogue leader himself was led by the Holy Spirit. When you move with God, God will move everything for you. And all that of God will move for you. Move with you. And it was a great joy. Yes. Many people believed in the Lord. My dear friends, Jesus makes it very clear in the gospel. We need to discern when problems come, when things go wrong, don't get upset. Jesus was the feet. What more greater work can do? You might be doing great work, no result. Don't worry. He spoke about the words of love. Is there anybody who can talk better than Jesus? In spite of the actions of love, the word of God proclaimed, still the disciples are again. Because... Jesus did not get disturbed with all that. If your wife doesn't listen, immediately you get angry. Why? Because of the lack of discernment. We have to learn from Jesus. Though he did the act of love and spoke the word, still the disciples are going to run away. Jesus didn't get upset with what is happening, what is going to happen to him. But he is concerned about, he is moved by what the father is doing to him. He discerned that it is the evil is attacking my disciples. Number two, the will of my father has to be taken place. When he realized this, Jesus moved ahead in life. That's one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is known as the gift of discernment. We have to sit at his feet. And talk to him. Don't allow your situation to rule you. St. Paul says, we don't walk by sight, by, but we walk by faith. Yes, learn to be still. Learn to know that our God is, I am, he's the living one. And he is our God. Be still and know that I am and I am your God. The one who is living is your God. When you go through deep waters, you will not be drowned. Because he is your God. He is God and he is your God. So be, learn to be still. Nothing can happen beyond him. Let's close our eyes and surrender ourselves to the Lord. God is calling. Yes. Let nothing trouble you. Be still and know. Discern. Discern what is the will of God. Let not anything that happens to you affect you. That you become restless. But in all things pray to God. And may the power of prayer lead you. Jesus, what a friend we have in you. Kneel before him. Raise your hands and call upon him.